was dark and stormy night, or so the herald say. The lightning striking constantly transformed the night to day. The thunder rung, the castle roared, all thusly runs the tale. When rising from the northeast tower, there came a fearful wail. It was no beast nor banshee that the castle folk knew well. No prisoner in agony, nor demon trap I fell. No ghost of moaned in penance, nor a soul in mortal fright. T'was just the countess singing, for she practiced every night. <laughs> <laughs> the countess was convinced that she should have been born a bard, and thus she made the lives of those within her power hard. For they must listen to her sing and smile at what they heard. And swear she had a golden voice that rivaled any bird. The countess was convinced that she had wedded me through state, and so the worst lot fell upon her meek and mild mate. Not only must the count each night endure her every song, but suffer silent her abuse, be blamed for every wrong. It was dark and stormy night, or so the bards of her, and so perhaps that was the reason why there was no star, when suddenly the music ceased, and when dawn raised his head, within the tower servants found the countess stiff and dead. The heralds came at once to judge if there had been foul play, they questioned almost carefully to hear what they would say. And one fact most astounding to them quickly came to light, that every moment of the count was vouched for on that night. <laughs> the castle folk by ones and twos came forward on their own to swear the count had never once that night been all alone. And though the tower had been locked tight with two keys to the door, one his, one hers, the count of guilt was plain as of for sure. At length the herald then pronounced her death as suicide, and all within the district voiced themselves quite satisfied. It was a verdict, after all, that none wished to refute, though no one could imagine why she tried to eat her loot. <laughs> <laughs>